Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another lecture on work study and methods engineering. We are going to start module 2 that is method study or we can call it operations analysis. We have divided this module into different parts. In first lecture of this module, we will discuss method study step 1 that is selecting a job for method study or operations analysis. And we will discuss the subsequent steps in the following lectures. So learning objectives for this lecture are for you to understand what is the first step in method study or operations analysis that is selecting the process to improve and what is the importance of uh, selecting the most suitable process to, to improve. You should be able to apply different factors and tools in selecting a process for improvement. We will first discuss some general factors and then we will discuss a number of tools like uh, Pareto analysis, fishbone diagram, check sheets, FMEA and fall tree analysis. These are the steps in performing any operations analysis or method study. First, we have to select the job or process to be studied then we record or collect all relevant data about the job or process. And you should use the most suitable data collection techniques because each technique or chart or graph is uh, meant for a specific type of data that you want to collect. Then we examine or analyze the recorded facts critically and challenge everything that is done. So we ask basic question, what is being done, why is being done, where it is being done, who is doing it, what is the sequence of that job or when it is done, and what is the method or how it is done. The fourth step is to develop the most economic and worker-friendly operation or method. Appropriate input from managers, supervisors, workers, and other specialists with whom new approaches should be discussed. Then we define the new method or process and the related time and present it to all those concerned. So defining is very important step as well. And definition of the process also includes the uh, time that is required to perform that process. So apart from the steps and sequence and precedence, the time is also important. Then we install the new process or method as an agreed practice with the allotted time of operation. And if required, training should also be provided to the people who will be performing that operation. And after that, we have follow up and maintain the new standard practice by monitoring the results and comparing them with the original targets. So these are the general steps for process design or process improvement or problem solving. So they can be applied in a variety of situations. Now this figure is very important. If we vertically draw the time that is spent to perform any task, then this upper rectangle is showing the minimum work content or the time required to perform a task. But a lot of time is added to this basic work content because of different issues. So some of the time is added because of the defects in design or specifications of product. As we discussed in one of the previous segments that sometimes the specifications are not clearly defined, so that results in extra time being spent in performing that task. So uh, the tolerance is not specified or finishing requirements are not clear. So uh, ultimately, uh, the worker spends unnecessary time because of these issues. Some time is added by inefficient work design and methods of manufacturing or operations, including setup tools, working conditions, workplace layout and motions economy. So we discuss these aspects uh, uh, briefly once we discuss different types of waste. So we discussed there that because of poor layout design, the waste of transportation is there because of 
poor uh, application of principles of motion economy, there is a waste of motion. So some time is wasted because of this poor work, uh, work design. Time is also added to the basic work content because of shortcoming on the part of the management, including poor planning, poor material and uh, tool inventory control, poor scheduling and so on. So production planning or production control is not proper. So that also results in wasted time. Worker is not clear what is to be made in what quantity it is to be, to be made, when it is to be made. Uh, the processes are not properly sequenced and that results in extra time spent on their job. The time is also added due to shortcomings on the part of the workers, including working at less than normal pace, taking excessive allowance, extra time being spent because of uh, low morale, because of in, uh, inadequate training of the workers. So uh, this much is added to the basic work content. Of course, the, the amount can vary from process to process, from job to job. But of course, whatever is being added is extra time and we should be able to finish the job ideally within this minimum work content. But the focus of this course is specifically on, uh, on this second point. Now we can improve the productivity by properly designing the methods and to, to perform different tasks. So ultimately we can improve the process and increase the productivity as well. But we will of course focus on other aspects like uh, uh, some aspects related to the workers and some related to management and planning as well. But the core focus will be on, on this second uh, aspect, especially in second module that we are just going to start. Thank you very much.